Hi guys, welcome back to yet another exhilarating lesson at Piano Pig. So today we're going to be looking at what is called the bubble. And this is a really cool rhythmic technique used a lot in reggae music. And it sounds something like this. So I'm sure you've heard it before, and you can hear it gives a really nice full rhythmic sound. So what is actually happening here? Well, each hand has basically got its own rhythm. So let's start with the right hand. All we are doing here is just playing on the second and fourth beat of the bar. So let's use that chord progression I played at the beginning, which was a G minor for two bars and then a C minor 7, just for one bar, and then a D minor 7 for one bar. And don't worry about playing these root notes in your left hand, you just need to play these chords up here. And get comfortable with playing them in both hands. So G minor for two bars, C minor 7, and D minor 7. So getting back to the rhythm, our right hand is going to play these chords on the second and fourth beats of the bar. This should sound like this. One, two, three, four. 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 Okay, so that's step one, and you just want to practice that until it becomes easy. Step two is learning the left hand rhythm. The rhythm here is slightly different to the right hand. Instead of playing on the second and fourth beats of the bar, we want to play on every single off beat, or the and between each beat. So nice and slowly, that should sound something like this. One, two, three, four. 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 And again, you just want to practice that until it becomes easy. So moving on to step three, as you can probably guess, this is where we're going to put both rhythms together. Now, learning each rhythm on its own is relatively simple, but putting them together is where problems can sometimes arise for people. So there's not really a secret trick as such to putting them together, but if you are struggling, then you probably just need to slow it right down to a speed where you can do it, and then gradually speed it up until you just kind of fit into the groove and start feeling it. So let's put it together. I'll play each rhythm once through just to get into the swing of it, and then that should make it easier getting them together. So starting off with the right hand. One, two, three, four. 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 So that is the basic reggae bubble rhythm, and once you're comfortable playing it, you ultimately want to try and forget about counting and thinking about which beat the chords come on, and just start to kind of feel it and really get into the groove. And once you've got to that stage, there are a few little things you can do to make it sound even better. One is to give it a bit of swing. Now this would probably depend on the song you are playing, but it does give it that really nice rhythmic feel. So instead of playing it like this before, 
we swing it. So that's one thing. Another good thing to do is to try and add in a few ghost notes here and there. And these are just single notes played very lightly, purely for a rhythmical purpose. And these can really give it that extra bit of groove and make it really sound great. So here's an example with a few ghost notes. So they are just very, very subtle little additions. That one I played on the D minor was quite nice. I think I came down here for the D minor chord. And at the very end, instead of playing the left hand chord, I replaced it with a ghost note in the right hand. I think it was the note C. So instead of playing this, I played this. So there you have it guys, the reggae bubble rhythm, and you can apply this to literally any chord progression, or just, well yeah, just anything really. And here's a really quick example of the bubble rhythm on the famous four chord progression in C that everybody knows. So go and play around with it, and eventually just try to feel the groove rather than count, and have fun applying it to other chord progressions that you might already know. So that's it for today's lesson. If you found it useful, please give it a thumbs up, and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have subscribed, make sure you click that little red bell so you don't miss any new lessons. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comment box below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.